السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان ویڈیو نمبر سیون ہنڈریڈ تھرٹی ایٹ وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ بیسک سرکٹ آف ایل ایم تھری تھری نائن وی ڈسکسڈ نان انورٹنگ کمپیروٹر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ول سی واٹ از دا بیسک یوز فار نان انورٹنگ کمپیروٹر نان انورٹنگ کمپیروٹر از کمبینیشن آف دس آئی سی ایل ایم ون تھری نائن एल एम टू थ्री नाइन एल एम थ्री थ्री नाइन आर एनी कंपेरिटर विच कैन डिसाइड ऑन द डिफरेंस इन द इनपुट्स वट इज डिफरेंस इन द इनपुट्स वी हैव टू इनपुट्स वन इज कॉल्ड इनवर्टिंग इनपुट एंड सेकेंड इज कॉल्ड नॉन इनवर्टिंग इनपुट बेसिकली दिस सर्कट इज सप्लाइड विद टू टाइप ऑफ वोल्टेज इन फर्स्ट कन्फिग्रेशन वी कैन अप्लाई पॉजिटिव एंड ग्राउंड एज अ सप्लाई वोल्टेज वी सी सी वोल्टेज I applied 12 volt at pin number 3 positive 12 volt pin number 12 to the ground we can connect positive 12 volt here negative 12 volt here when we connect positive and negative 12 volt we need to connect a capacitor here 0.1 micro or 100 nano one capacitor if we are using two supplies positive and negative at that time we will connect two capacitors if we are connecting just ground here positive here in this condition we will use just only one capacitor non inverting condition that when we apply reference voltage here at pin number 6 positive and ground side two resistors we make a voltage divider network using two resistors using zener most of the time we can use zener to give the fixed reference i am supplying with separate power supply 12 volt and we will monitor these battery voltage consider that this is a 12 volt battery we want to disconnect the next circuit when the battery level will reach at 13.4 volt how we can calculate how we can design it this is our input terminal the condition is this reference voltage here at pin number 6 this is our ground this is pin number 6 it is 6.021 volt why because i connected these two resistors between positive and negative line that are these two resistors so here we have at this point 6.026 volt that are reaching at pin number 6 when we have these voltage here at this pin 6.02 and in any condition when pin number 7 that is non inverting input will increase from this level 6.027 and this is 6.07 we can see it is comparing it very closely when this A difference will become less than 6.2 volt at that time it will turn off 5.8 when the voltage at pin number 7 will more than pin number 6 it will give high output in this ic we have open collector output the output transistor is connected to low side so we need a pull up resistor 10k that is a nominal resistor we can change up to our requirement but in most common configuration 10 kilo ohm resistor is good then the second thing it have an offset voltage we can see this is 6.26 volt and here we have 6.07 volt now we will monitor the condition and we will see the multimeter here we will see the output led i will decrease it very slowly when both inputs are approximately near to similar it will go in oscillating state for that purpose to prevent it we need to force it to make a good decision when the input the specified input that is due to design we can say it is 
2 millivolt, 5 millivolt, 20 millivolt. It will differ from one comparator to second comparator. One IC to a second IC. We need a 1 mega ohm resistor for high gain between pin number 7 and the output pin. 1 mega. It will give a positive feedback so that the comparator will remain all the time in good working condition so that this positive feedback will allow it to switch it in proper condition. Now this self oscillating state will finish. It will turn on immediately. It will not go in either on off, on off. It will not go in that state. So we need 10 kilo ohm resistor with positive VCC. Now we want to sense this voltage. We can say this is a battery. How we can configure it? If we are powering it with 5 volt, always use a separate regulator to give regulated output. If we are using 5 volt, 9 volt regulator, 8 volt regulator, whatsoever. So at that time, we need to give a voltage divider network at this point. If I am using this 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm resistor, at that time I am dividing 12 volt into two pieces. Equal value resistor will divide the supply into two portions. So we are receiving 6 volt here. If we want to measure any voltage, if it is 13.2, 14.24 volt battery, whatsoever we supply, we will design it at 1 milliampere because its thin current is nano ampere we will design our voltage divider in milliampere for example i will sense at 13.4 volt 13.4 divided with 1 milliampere it is 13.4 kilo ohm the current value is 1 milliampere we need 13.4 kilo ohm that is combination of two resistors and i need 6 volt here what will the value of resistor here? I need 6 volt divided with 0 0.001 V over I. So we need 6 kilo ohm resistor. The remaining voltage 13.4 minus 6 minus 6 volt it is 7.4 divided with 0 0.001 so we need 7400 ohm resistor here this 7.4k and this one is 6k we need two resistors with these values now we calculated one resistor at 7.4 kilo ohm and second one 6 kilo ohm if you cannot find the resistor that is exactly the, the same value we can select that next closer resistor which is available this time I have for example I have this 10 kilo ohm resistor I will connect it here if it is 7.4 maybe we can find 8 kilo ohm 8.6 kilo ohm we need to reconsider this value and if we cannot find this value we can select the next closer closer value this is 6k maybe we can find 5.6k 5.4k 4.7k and we will use a potentiometer in addition with this one to adjust our required value i want to connect this resistor 4.7 kilo ohm in that time i will use a potentiometer a trim pot to adjust our required value to take the required resistor value install one resistor here second resistor and a potentiometer connect here so this will allow us to take our required value as an input this 12.4 volt we will adjust to 13.4 volt that is our cutoff point 13.4 volt this is our battery level so we will measure between these two points now it is 6.5 I will adjust this trim part 
so that we will take the exact reference voltage which we need. When the battery level will reach at 13.4 volts, at that time this circuit will operate. Now we want to connect it. How we will combine the signals? Now this is the return for the battery. The battery low line will connect it to the comparator low line. This is the first requirement of the circuit that we must combine the return path. This time this circuit is sensing this line. But now we will use this input pin and we will connect it here. We can see it is displaying that the battery level is 13.4 volt. Now we will remove this potentiometer. Now I will decrease the battery voltage. When the battery voltage is less, circuit is turned off. This time the battery is at 12.79. The next circuit battery detector is off now. Now we will adjust it and we will see the circuit response. Thirteen point three five. It is turned on. We can adjust the level from here. Yes. Now it is turned off. Now we will increase the battery voltage again. Thirteen point six volt. We can calibrate. Now the battery voltage are 12.5 volt. The LED is off. That means the comparator output is low. When it will reach to 13.4 volt, the output is high. So it will indicate that the battery is fully charged. So it will activate the next circuit. When the voltage level will drop again, it will turn off. And when it will reach back again at 13.4 volt, the LED is on. Less than 13.4 volt, the LED will remain off. The comparator output will low. So this is the function of non-inverting comparator. When the input will increase then this reference input the output will become high i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh